Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, let's go to radar first. I want to show you what's happening now. So there's a, a low, I talked about it this morning, that's pulling out of California. It's dropping straight south into the four corners, a southern track area of low pressure. The storm to watch is not the one on radar right now. It's the one behind it that's sitting out in the Pacific. So here are my latest bullet points. Here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. And I'm not going to go through all this, but you can see the timeline. The second storm system that comes out of California, 124, 125, 126, is the one to watch for Utah, the Tetons, and also Colorado, and New Mexico for that matter. That's the one that will deliver light to moderate snow accumulations to all of those states, and Idaho as well. Um, the Northeast, you've got some light uh, snow accumulation coming, 123, 124. And then potentially, and this is new on the board, a storm around 128 that could have moderate to heavy snow accumulations. So we'll look at all that in this, uh, this update. I want to show you uh, water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. So here is our storm diving out of California that will become that southern track storm. Not the one to watch. But you can see this energy beginning to rev up here, ramp up. This one will come in right behind it, a little further to the north, and then dive down through the Intermountain West. That's the one that will bring a little better wave of snow to Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. All part of a very strong subtropical jet that's really roaring out here and guiding everything into the West Coast. It's a much warmer pattern for the West. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. Current state of affairs, you can see the circulation or the, all the precip coming out of California and watch where it goes. It acts like it's going to hit the, the Wasatch and the Tetons, but it doesn't. It really dries up and then it moves down into the four corners. And then here comes the more important storm. So here's 124, 125. 125 in the morning, you can see the low coming down, sliding down through the Intermountain West with a, a better shield that holds together of snow for Idaho the Tetons, the Wasatch, and then eventually into Colorado on 125 very late in the day. And it continues on 126 through Colorado into Mexico, very light. And then that storm system exits. A new one moves into the Pacific Northwest and West Coast. Now, like I was saying this morning, that period from probably 127 to 131 is pretty quiet with high pressure ridging in Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. But we're still going to see action move into the west coast during that period and probably spill um, into Idaho at times. Um, so I, I would really focus on Washington, Oregon, and California um, late in that period, 127 through 131. We're going to have to wait until probably the first week of February to get anything of significance into the interior states. All right, let's talk jet stream. Here we are tomorrow, 123. You can see the trough swinging through the four corners with that storm system. Here's 125. This is the second storm system, the one that has more to it for the interior. Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Colorado, and New Mexico. And here's 131. So between 127 and 131, there's high pressure ridging over Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, New Mexico. Not a lot happening, but there is on the West Coast and up in the Pacific Northwest. You can see the breakdown right there. The Pacific jet streak, that subtropical jet, is really, it's still bringing in moisture. It's bringing in storm systems and escorting them into the, uh, the West Coast, Pacific Northwest. All right, snow totals by period. So the rest of today through tomorrow, very light accumulations across the West, the lower 48, very, very light. The second period is a bit more impressive. Um, looking at probably three to eight inches for the Wasatch, four to eight up in the Tetons, and one to four, maybe a five-inch mountain southwest Colorado, but that'll probably do it for Colorado. Um, otherwise, you could, you could get a foot up there in parts of uh, Washington State and Oregon. All right, here's the final period. So a bit of a change in California from this morning's update. Now it looks like uh, you'll be more in focus. You'll have more of that storm track affecting the Sierra for 127 and 130, and you can see the result, bigger totals. Otherwise, you gotta go up to the Pacific Northwest or BC to really get some of that overrunning precip. And one more stop in the Northeast. So the numbers have gone up from this morning's update. Again, still some light snow afternoon, 123, 124, but more importantly, a lot of these numbers are pumped up from the 128 storm system. Maybe it's not there. Maybe it's still there tomorrow, but maybe it's not. But at this point, it looks like there might be something there on 128. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow, but looking at probably 6 to 12 inches of accumulation. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.